All right, everybody, welcome. This is Zane from Really Easy AI. We're going to do Claude uh, 3 5 Pro projects. Uh, this is Sonnet in this case, is the model, in 10 minutes or less. So let's get started. First things first, we've got to uh, ask what a project is. And you'll notice it's a new thing. Um, when you actually get into Claude, depending on the plan you have, you may see this indicator new introducing projects. And then you can click on try it out and all kinds of stuff. I'm going to show you that. But if you want more information, uh, and I'll include this link in the description, you can go to the support site and it'll tell you what projects are. So let me read. Uh, projects allow users on pro or team plans to create self-contained workspaces with their own chat history and knowledge bases. Within each project, you can upload documents, provide context, and have focused chats. Now, what does that mean? Um, well... Essentially, if you've ever used ChatGPT before and you've created custom GPTs, this is Anthropic's version of custom GPTs. It's the same thing. It's just a watered-down version. You can't put as much knowledge into it yet um, as you can a custom GPT in ChatGPT, but it's the same idea where you take some knowledge, you stick it into a space, you give it some special instructions if you want to do that, and then um, you, you, know, you create this environment. Uh, that you can then query against the documents, the special knowledge that you've loaded it up with. So you see here, a key benefit of the project is the ability to provide context for your chats. You can upload relevant documents, text code, other files, whatever you want to a project's knowledge base. Claude will use it to better understand the context and background for your individual chats. All right, good deal. Now there is a limit, 200K context window, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's get into it. So how do you actually do a project? Well, it's actually pretty easy. Assuming you're on a pro or team plan, on the left-hand side, go to Claude and click on Projects. You'll have a section here called Projects. Click on Projects. And then you'll have a whole bunch of stuff here. You'll have a de the default project that gives you how to use Claude. Uh, I did a project for another session, a uh, Penguin project, and we're going to create a new project now. So click on Create Project in the upper right-hand corner. We're going to call this project Government uh, Agencies Helper. So this is the Government Agencies Helper. And the Government Agencies Helper, what's it going to do? Um, used to get information uh, on government agencies for users. Okay, very cool. All right, so uh, we need to spell check that. There we go. Okay, um, once you've got the uh, the name of the project and a little uh, description, click on Create Project, and it will open up a workspace for you, right? So here you'll have um, your government agency's helper. Uh, you can ask questions, do all kinds of stuff. Here you can upload knowledge, and here you can set custom instructions. Now let's begin... Uh, we almost always begin by uploading knowledge first. So I have several documents that I'm going to upload. You can see them uh, here. Hang on, let me drag them so you can see them. So I have an agency listing and uh, it's supposed to be contact information. I'll change that real quick. So agency listing and contact information for government agencies. I have a government org chart, and then I have a U.S. Uh, Department and Agencies directory. So just information on a variety of government agencies. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those three things, and then I'm going to click them and drag them into the knowledge area for my project. Uh, please try again. Okay. It says text extraction failed for one of them. Let's see if we can see if we can get it going. All right. Still uploading. All right. Let's try them one at a time then. There we go. Agency listing and contact information is good. Probably had a problem with the org chart. Let me try the directory. I bet I had a problem with the org chart because it's a picture. No. All right. I bet it fails on the org chart. Let's see. Yep. That was it. So the org chart's a picture. Let me show it to you real quick. That's why it's failing. It's just a big picture. So it's having a real problem with that. That's fine. Its own knowledge has that information. So I've just augmented that information. Um, and then we can upload additional knowledge. It's it's not nearly as cool as ChatGPT's custom GPTs, but it's a first effort, and you know it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. Okay, now we've got this thing, and we've, we've given it this knowledge. Now we can say things like, 
Um, I don't know. We've got listings of agencies and directories. And remember, that's on top of the internal knowledge it has. So we could do, uh, we could do things like, say, uh, what uh, agencies report to the USDA, for example. Now, that's internal knowledge it probably already has, but we're, it's going to go through. It's going to say, well, here's the agency's report to the USDA. And notice we're doing this under the government agency's helper project and an untitled prompt. Based on the information provided in them, so I went ahead and used the documents. Based on the information provided in the documents, the following agencies report to or are part of the USDA. Perfect. All right, good deal. So now it's pulling from the documents. The document states that Wiley's attorneys have extensive experience before uh, following agency. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the places I got it from. So I'll have to do some custom instructions. So let's do that. Let's go back now, and uh, here we are looking at this thing, and let's go ahead, and what we want to do, these are chat controls, but I want to get to the government agency helper. Here we go. Click on it, and uh, I want to set custom instructions, so I'm going to click on set custom instructions, and in this case, I'm going to say um, you are uh, a, an assistant. that helps uh, people learn about government agencies. You will use your um, mm, uh, internal knowledge and the files attached to uh, answer questions for users. Do not, under any circumstances, answer questions about anything that isn't a government agency or give information. about anything other than government agencies. There we go. Some nice simple instructions. And all right, we're going to save those instructions. So now we have custom instructions. We've got some knowledge. Now we can say uh, what agencies are under the USDA. It should this time, if we crafted the prompt right, not mention the Wileys or wherever the hell I got the information from. It should just list out the government agencies. Nope, still mentioning Wileys. Okay, well, I may have to go back to the custom instructions. So I click back on the agency helper, go back to edit, and then I say also never mention Wileys uh, or Wiley attorneys. or any of that crap. There we go. Let's try that. I think they were called Wiley attorneys. So let's test it again. That agencies are under the USDA. And away we go. So the custom instructions are really the keys. You feed it the knowledge. You do the custom instructions. And you should be in pretty good shape. <sighs> okay. Well, we'd have to prompt engineer a little more. Um... You know, we have to say, you know, don't ever mention Wiley attorneys. So I don't know why he keeps putting that in. Well, I know why he keeps putting it in because I, I, I don't have good enough custom instructions. So uh, never uh, under any circumstances mention, uh, mention Wiley attorneys. Let's try that. One more time. If it doesn't work this time, we'll just have to chalk it up. But you get the idea. It allows us to query. Um, it pulls from the documents, and we're able to do all kinds of cool stuff.
Okay, there we go. Finally. So we did under any circumstances. It looks like it finally didn't mention the Wiley attorneys. Great. Outstanding. So yeah, that's the kind of stuff you're going to have to deal with. But anyway, that's what it boils down to. Um, you've got documents you feed it. You got custom instructions. And then at that point in the project, you're having a, a conversation um, against those documents and based on the document knowledge. And if you're in a team, you can share this with other team members and they can use it too. Just like a custom GPT in ChatGPT. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. That is projects in the new Anthropic Claude 3.5 Sonnet. This is Zane. I'll see you next time.